In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Canon TR8620A from the very beginning. How to connect it to a computer, how to print, and also how to use the scanner. So let's get started right away. First step is to take the power cord that came inside of the box. Go on the back of the printer on the right side and over here, this is where we need to connect it. Then connect the other end into your power outlet. Then once you're done, press the power button during two seconds and then release. Now you just have to wait until you see something appearing on the screen. Select your language. And by the way, this is a touch screen, if you didn't notice. Yes. Then it will ask you to start the print setup. Press OK. And now we have to install the ink cartridges that came included with this printer. So first step, we need to open this lid so we have access to the ink compartment. To do so, over here you have a small gap. Put your fingers there and lift. Then you can release this lid and it will stay by itself since it has a small prop over there. This is where we need to install the ink cartridges. The position of each of them is clearly marked right above. So, so first we have the magenta, then we have the black, then we have the yellow, then we have the black that is PGBK. This is the larger one that looks like this. And finally we have the cyan. Now we need to remove the wrapper that is protecting each of these cartridges. To do so it's very easy. Over here you see there is a small sign telling you to pull. You just have to grab this orange tape and pull. Like this. Then we can remove the rest. Finally we need to remove this plastic uh, orange thing over here. Very easy. Take the tab and remove it. And do this for each of them. So let's start with the first one, which is the magenta. Take the magenta cartridge and how to place it, it's very easy. You see, there is a small tab. This is the back of the ink cartridge. The other part that is the front should look like this. It should have some green inscription on the front. The top of the ink cartridge is where you see all the details about it. And the lower side is where you have the contact and the print head. So to put it, you just have to glide it and put the top first like this. Okay, so put the top like this and then let it sit and with one finger you're going to press it until it clicks. You'll also hear a beep confirming that you did it correctly. The next one is the black. So I put the top first like this. I let it sit and then I press with my finger. Now it's time for the yellow. The PGBK. Same things as the other ones. And finally, the cyan. To put back the lid, you just have to press on it. With two hands, it's a lot easier. Do it slowly until it reaches the final position. On the screen, you'll get this message confirming all the ink cartridge you have installed. And now they'll ask us to print an alignment page. This is to improve the quality of the printing. Before pressing OK, you need to get an A4 letter size paper. Then once you have it on hand, press OK. And they will ask us to load this paper inside of the paper cassette. The paper cassette is located right in the front. To extract it, put your fingers over here and pull. We're going to remove this small part over here, this small plastic, like that. Push this blue guide all the way towards you. Push this blue guide all the way to the right side. 
take your paper, could be many sheets, you're not limited to only one, obviously, and place it on this tray, like this. Once you're done, take this plastic and put it back the same way it was before. And now push back the cassette all the way in. Then press the OK button and it will tell you that it will take 4 minutes. You do not have to do anything, just wait. If you get this message on the screen, simply lift the screen up and slide out the paper tray. This is the paper tray. At the end it has a small flip like this. Leave it this way and then press OK. Next step is to take the page that just came out of the printer. Open the scanner lid. Place this page facing down. Make sure that this triangle goes over there where there is an arrow. You may have difficulties to see it on this video, but there, there is an arrow. So put it facing down this way. Align it until the corner touches the corner with the arrow. Then close the scan lid. And on the screen, you're going to press OK. Then press OK. Press Next. Press Next. Then press Agree. Here, they will have a survey for you. I do not have any time to waste on this and probably you do not have as well. So I'll press No. But you can press yes if you have a couple minutes to answer their survey. Printer setup is complete. Now you're ready to copy. Press next. Press OK. And now we have the main menu appearing on the screen. In this video, I'll show you how to load paper inside of your Canon TR8620A. There's two ways this can be done. So let's get started with the first one. The first one consists of opening this paper cassette. This is how Canon calls it. You just have to glide your fingers right over here and pull this tray. Once you have the tray out, you're going to remove this plastic bit over here. You just need to remove it this way, put it aside. Take your paper. This printer can support up to 100 different sheets of paper on this tray. And before placing it, make sure that this blue guide is all the way towards you. You see, maybe yours is positioned here. Just, just have to glide it over, over there if you want to use letter size paper. If you want to use B5 size paper, you just have to make it stop over there. If you want to use A5, or something smaller, you can glide it towards the printer. Same thing with this blue guide over here. This is how the printer comes. You just have to push it all the way to the right side. Take your paper, simply put it, lay it flat like this. And the last step is to put back this uh, small plastic thing like this and push back this tray inside of the printer. Now you'll get a message appearing on the screen. They'll ask you to confirm which kind of paper you have put. If the message goes away because it's only there a few seconds, you can go back by going in settings, feed, feed settings, cassette paper settings, and will be at the same place. So if you input some letter size paper, simply uh, confirm by pressing yes. If it's another size, simply press change. I'll press yes. Then press OK and we are done. Now let me show you the other way how to you can input paper inside of this printer. So for the other way, you just need to go on the back of the printer where you see this piece, open it up by swinging this plastic flap and then bring it up by pulling it. Let it uh, rest on its back and it will stay like this. 
Now we need to adjust these blue guides the same way we did for the paper cassette. So open this transparent plastic thing and then you just need to separate them by pushing them to the extremities. Take your paper and simply let it glide inside like this. You do not have to push it hard, just let it rest. Then you can close this small part and on the screen you'll get the same kind of a message to confirm which kind of paper you have input. First thing, we need to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network. And to do so, you need to go into the settings here, press device settings, press LAN settings, select Wi-Fi, select Wi-Fi setup, select manual connect. From this list, you need to select your Wi-Fi network. Press over here in this rectangle and type the Wi-Fi password. If you want to have access to some numbers, tap on the lower left side. Once you're done, press OK and the printer will connect to your Wi-Fi network. On your PC computer, you need to go on ij.start.can and I'll put the link in the description. From this page, you're going to select Setup. Then you need to type the name of your printer. So the model name in my case is TR86208. Select it from the drop down list and press go. Then press the orange start button. Then select B, connecting to a computer smartphone. Press the download button. It will download the driver for your printer. And once it's done, double click on the file that just got downloaded. Press yes. Press Start Setup, press Next. Then from this page, you're going to select Yes over here. Agree. Then you're going to press on Yes. At the end, you'll get this message with a green check mark. Press next and then you're done. Unfortunately, we cannot close this window. Canon forces us to press continue online where they will try to sell you some stuff. You can go ahead and close this window. We do not need this anymore. Perfect. Now how to print a document? Well, first make sure you have inserted some paper in the paper tray here on the front or the one on the back. And before even starting, extend this paper tray where the printed paper will go at the end. So on your PC, you're going to open the file you want to print. Okay, let's say I want to print this file. I'll press this printer logo here. Make sure that under printer, the Canon TR8600 series is selected. Also make sure that the other settings are appropriate for the type of document you're trying to print and once you're done press print you may get this message on the printer you simply need to lift this panel like this and let it sit press ok on the screen and the process will continue Here you go, we just printed something from our PC. Now how to use the scanner? This printer has two different scanners. The first one is a flatbed scanner, whereas you simply need to put your document facing down with the top part on the left side 
align it with this small arrow here. You just need to push it towards that corner. Close the scan lid. And then on the menu here, you're gonna press scan. Save to PC. Make sure that this is your um, computer name. If not, click on it and select your computer, but there's a good chances that this is yours. And then select black for black and white or color for a color scan. I'll select black. On the PC, you're gonna see this screen, the small window appearing. You just have to wait until the scan is done. And at the end, it will appear in your folder. I can double click on it and I'll see the file that was inserted on the scanner. If you have multiple pages and you do not want to lose your time doing it one by one, well, you're in luck because this has a top scanner. You just need to open this panel like this. And if you have multiple pages, your document, let's say have 15, 20, 50 pages, mine just has three. You just need to align them with their top part facing up and place them like this facing up with the with the top on the left side align them okay Let me. and you should hear a beep when they're completely inserted like this and now you just need to follow the same exact steps that i showed you previously so i'll select uh, black and white again and watch what will happen The printer took one by one each pages without you needed to touching anything. And the document has been transferred on your PC. It's over there. So this is it. This is how you connect, print and scan using your Canon PIXMA TR8620A with your Windows machine. If this was helpful, please leave a like, comment down below, and if you want to support my channel, please check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. Thanks.